Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's Newton's Panthers going up against Dalton's Beagles. So let's send you up now to the Queen City of Cincinnati. Brandon. Yo. Not too. Yeah. I'm on the phone with my girl, bro. I'm talking to KB. Hold on for a second. Hold on. Yeah. I'm on the phone with my girl, bro. What's up? Uh, no, nah, but hold on, give me like five minutes, bro. Yeah. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on at it second down. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. And the starting crew defensively for Carolina. When Shaq Thompson declared for the draft, I said he should be a running back in the NFL. He said no way he'd rather hit people as a linebacker. Here's Dalton. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. And when you have a guy in the back who can catch the football, you don't just use him strictly for check downs or dump offs. You make him part of the primary passing attack because what you're trying to do is get him into open field and then let him make people miss and advance the football. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Now it's Newton. Funches with a catch over the middle. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And that's one of his advantages of a passer is that now with his height setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything, and sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will actually break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big-time drop. They snap it to Newton. Sliding out of the pocket. He can, and he will score! Touchdown, Panthers! Cam Newton taking it in from two yards out. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And that was just an old-fashioned scramble play, fourth and goal, and he willed his team into the end zone. And I just don't know how, on the other side of the ball, you keep your composure. You account for everything. You defend everything. And this guy finds a way to make a play on you. Can you tell? That just agitates me a little bit as a former defender. I know your hands are shaking. 
The Bengals offense now, they head back onto the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Second and ten. Dalton once more. On the screen, Bernard. And he's able to get out to the 32. Brought down there. Seven yards on the play, and that'll make it third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Andy Dalton, a dump off now to Hill. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the... And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. We have been to enough practices to recognize what we saw there. That was good coaching, right? Taking care of the football, protecting it, making sure you don't give anything up. But boy, oh boy, that's hard for a lot of quarterbacks to give up on a play, isn't it? Yeah, but he did the right thing. Protect the football because I think you saw what I saw. There was really nothing downfield. And nothing downfield. If you try and force it, sometimes you turn a bad play into something way worse, and you can really hurt your team that way. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. There's a good push to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, speed, and making flat. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Brandon LaFell, 40 yards. And the Bengals are a two-point conversion away from tying this football game. He's got it, so they take just the one here, and that makes it an 8-7 game in the first. And after the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Carolina coming back on offense. You know, I said earlier about teams starting 2-6 and six and making the playoffs. It's never happened. Teams at 2-5 and five like Carolina was going to make the playoffs. That has happened six times since 1990. But even better for them because most of the people like to go to recent history when it concerns they are losing teams games. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. That one goes for 24 yards. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. Give him 16 on the pickup. And the Panthers are going to get a first down. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body... It's looking for Benjamin, but it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. Pass the 10 to the 11-yard line, and that's where the return stops. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, you why would they change anything? Stuff. They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really oh, lost yeah. Lewis. And that was amazing, because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Going for the deep ball. He's got a man complete. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, and it's the Bengals with a football to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They'll come out in the pistol. Dalton, first and ten. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. 
And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It's a gain of five. And it'll make it second down. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now. Than fullbacks. But doesn't matter what you call the position, it's who you put there. And there we saw a completion. Giovanni Bernard, the intended receiver out of the backfield. And it's third and five. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. So much about offense is what you call hit the yard. You know, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stop them in a stretch. We're about halfway through the NFL season now. I'm thinking for the second half, look at the NFC North and keep an eye on Detroit trying to make a move in that division. Well, that's interesting. Who else do you have your eye on? But I'm also taking a look at the NFC South, and we oh thought Atlanta would run away from it from the early part of the season. Oh but God. keep a hard eye on oh New Orleans. Man. They have been hot as the four in the last five. Oh but let's face it, the story the whole league is watching is in Dallas, in Big D, where Dak Prescott's been incredible as a rookie quarterback, but Tony Romo's getting healthy. Will they make the move back to Romo before the year is out? They go back to Stewart. Week 9, Stewart, 42 yards on 15 carries. You know, as a team, Charles, they only ran for 59, but you know how vaunted that Rams front four is. It is very difficult to run the ball against them. They took their first round picks, big time talents who pride themselves on not giving them a running yardage. It makes it difficult, but having Jonathan Stewart in the lineup is key for Carolina. They can't do much else in their offense unless he does touch the ball in the run game. Now Newton on third and goal. He lost a football out. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now, now here come the Bengals. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball. And then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same yeah. position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a, a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. They go play action here on first down. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for Cincinnati. 56 yards. And I guess, Charles, sometimes when you have a receiver well over six foot, you do that. Just put it up there, let him grab it, and he did. And it certainly appears like a 50-50 ball, right? We always talk about that one. Both sides have a chance to get it, the receiver or the guy covering him. But I think the odds actually are in favor of the offense. They can see the ball coming oftentimes before the defender can get his head around. So I think that really goes to like 70-30, and they should be able to go up and get it most of the time. They got it there. Now Dalton, that's complete, right around the eight. The five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. They send Green to the left on his own. Another chance for Dalton. That's caught at the two. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second and goal. Time to step aside. We'll come back to Cincinnati after this. They'll come up now in the Wildcat package. They'll let their receiver run it out of the Wildcat. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Jeremy Hill taking it in from two yards out. And the Bengals are going to jump back in front. And it's up and good to make this now a 14-8 ball game. After the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. Fozzie Whitaker now on the return. And he 
carries up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time, fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester, that's for sure, because to be that close and come up with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, let it go, -term memory. and move on to the next series. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. 23 yards on the play. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. They've become a little more ho hum right there. Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. But I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. Back to throw. Newton muscles him off. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Carlos Dunlap in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Third and long. It's Newton. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Well, the advantage has certainly shifted to the defense as we began that third down play, and they found a way to foil it and pick up a first down. Third time's a charm, right? Two incompletions. Had to have it on third, and they got it. Yeah, they stuck with it, weren't daunted at all, and picked it up. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. To throw is Newton. And this is taken in at the five. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Fozzie Whitaker, 34 yards. And the Panthers have tied this game up. They can take the lead with the extra point. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Another look for Dalton on second and ten. And that's going to be incomplete. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. And that's incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target. And it's fourth down. So now the Cincinnati native, also former Bearcat, and now a Bengal, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. All right, let's go ahead and try and get into the body and the mind of the linebackers. Yeah, I know they're bigger and stronger than I ever was, but in this situation, they understood what was going on as much as the offensive guys. Because the offensive guys always talk, find the first down sticks and make the play. On defense, what do you want to do? Guard the first down line. Make sure they don't get there and tackle them in front. They were able to drop in their zone coverage, figure out where the first down line was, and end up making the play, swatting it away. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On first and ten, Newton. He's going to look deep down the field. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by George Iloka. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he finds a man on the crossing round. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. 
It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Dalton throwing on second down. Looking deep downfield. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Funches with a catch over the middle. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan is showing you. Now it's Newton. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, Charles, I know last night at the hotel we were going over injuries around the league and then looking at the quote-unquote next man up and who has really stepped in to fill some big shoes this year. Who'd you have down? Well, Cleveland, it hasn't paid off for them yet, but six different guys have thrown passes for them so far. They've got to settle on a starter that they really like. How about in Dallas? I think that's the ultimate one right there. Dak Prescott hey, 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 stepping in for Tony, Tony. Romo. Kansas City's had a carousel of running backs with the injury to Jamal Charles. And one more in Denver. DeMarcus Ware returned in Week 9, but when he was out, who stepped up? Shane Ray, their first-round draft pick in 2015. A good pick up there at 22. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. On first down, it's Newton. Dancing to his left. And I think the ball's out, and the Bengals grab it. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half, and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. A big play there for the Bengals. 58 yards. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. And again here, we'll see the Wildcat. Now the Wildcat, a wide receiver carry. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Jeremy Hill, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals take advantage of the turnover to put up six. After the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. And the Panthers coming out now. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a... And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off by the linebacker, Ray Malaluga. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. On second down, Hill 
And he's going to be met at about the 43. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Well, I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up your play action and throw the football. You control the clock because then you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. Now a first down carry, it's Hill, and he'll fall forward to the 29-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there, it'll be second and eight. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense, and at times, will actually make checks, just like a quarterback would on offense to get him into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal game. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Dalton operating in the red zone now. That is caught. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Tyler Eifert, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Panthers' offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. He'll rifle and got his man complete. 30 yards on the pick up there. And it'll be a Carolina first. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? On first down, Newton. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. Back to the air, Newton on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We know it's not...
Yo. He's played against him just now, dude. He's on the court. God damn these niggas, man. Oh, he's yeah, he acting fake right now, dude. You playing with some trash dudes on park, bro. I just played him, pure trash. Yeah, bro. Invite him, bro. Yes. That's a big dude right there, man. Playing with a bunch of pros too, pure trash. Can I even all star trash, man? I just lost to him too, man. I'm about to go beat him real quick. I'm playing him right now. Invite him, bro. I don't know. He might come. He might come. <laughs> he said, damn. Hey, Trump's next president. Let's go. Oh my god, that's a whoa. Yo. Let's go. Dumbass me, you cannot be trying to leave a sharpshooter open. I gotta go help. Go on. Trash, he didn't keep falling. You catch passes when people try to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Well, here we go now. An extra defensive back in there on third and ten. Throwing on third down. Newton flush to his right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time.